Ziggy Two Dope here with my first official vlog. Um, this topic is going to be about music. Now, I'm not a musician. I don't consider myself a rapper per se. I mean, I can't freestyle. I can write shit, um, but I can't produce my own music. Um, shit like that, you know. But I listen to music every day and it's part of my life. So I think I have a pretty good understanding of it in that aspect of what I like to listen to, what I don't like to listen to, and what I know people should and shouldn't do in terms of media, publicity, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you can hear it in the background right now, but I'm listening to the new Dark Lotus album. And let me just say off the bat, um, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it kind of sounds like ICP featuring Blaze and Twisted on every track. Um, it's not what I'm used to from Dark Lotus. Don't get me wrong, I like it. It's good. It's, most of the tracks are good. I think I only picked out like one or two that I wasn't a big fan of, but I'd still listen to them. But that still doesn't change the fact that it's not what I grew up with as a juggalo from Dark Lotus. It's just not. I don't think we'll ever get the real Dark Lotus again. Um, it's just not what it used to be. People evolve in music, people change, and they do it because it's a business. That's what you do. Um, so I, I'm not going to complain about that, obviously. Um, was I shocked? I was shocked that the Dark Lotus album was coming out this quick after, you know, everybody leaving, coming back, not knowing what was going on or anything. Like, even Boondocks, I don't even know if Boondocks is still on the label or not. Does anybody really know? <laughs> um, uh, I was kind of surprised to see Twisted on Dark Lotus, only because they've been doing so many other things. I was surprised they had the time to do it. Not because I knew I knew they're still down and everything, but I was surprised they were still willing to do it. Well, I mean, not willing to do it. Um, willing to do it with their time. I figured they were gonna wait a couple years at least. Um, I hope Psychopathic Riders still come out with bumping shit. Like, this is like. Dark Lotus was like the wicked shit, like the the underground wicked shit. Like ICP was wicked, but they weren't they weren't wicked like Dark Lotus wicked. You know what I mean? Psychopathic Riders were like the gangsters. They were like the hip hop and rap version of what ICP and Twisted could have done if they wanted to. I hope their shit's still the same. Um, what else about music? Um, I'm into new groups. Like, uh, well, new groups for me. I, I used to listen to some A and B shit. I wasn't really a big fan, but I like the new shit they're coming out with. Um, ABK, I didn't really like his old shit. I'm starting to listen to. It. I'm actually starting to like some of his old shit, but um, I have to say that his new shit is a lot better. If that makes any sense. Usually, when people come out with new shit, it's not always as good as the original, but. I'm sorry, Mudface, horrible fucking album. Only like, what, two, three good songs off of the whole fucking thing. Um, well, I'm on the subject of psychopathic records. Um, <laughs> that that horrible topic of ICP losing their touch. Do I think it's happening? Yeah. They're not. They're not wicked anymore. They're going with what the mainstream wants them to go with, I'd have to say. Um, I don't, can't say I don't like the shit they're putting out, because some of it's good, don't get me wrong, some of it's really good, but it's not what I'm used to with ICP. I'd like it if they went back with like one, even even a side CD, whatever, make a sideshow CD again, like, like uh, what was it, Tempest or something like that. Come out with another one of those with all the old school dark shit. That'd be great. Because right now, Bang Pow Boom, Mighty Death Pop, 
not impressing me. Um, let's see, what about underground music? Uh, Cottonmouth Kings, does anybody know what's going on with them? Um, I know they were being sued and all that bullshit. Uh, I know that they lost their label because of stupid shit. I don't know what happened in court with them. Um, from last I've seen on any social media, d -Loke is doing his own thing. Um, some nasty stuff coming from d -Loke. And from what I've seen on YouTube and Facebook, Cottonmouth Kings aren't really doing anything. They're, I mean, yeah, they're involved with the legal bullshit, and I can understand that, but you're a music group. Put out some music. That'd be great. Thanks. Um, underground rap in general. Um, Tech Nine. Let's talk about Tech Nine. His new CD. Pretty dope. Um, usually dope see shit coming out from him. Again, wasn't too impressed. Uh, a lot of good music, but. I don't know. It was, it was uh, half of his songs were hit and mess with me. It was it was weird. I'm not used to that from Tech either. Um, mainstream rap, I've pretty much given up on that. There's songs that I'll listen to here and there. If they're popular on YouTube, I'll give them a tr a chance. But if not, I probably won't listen to it. I don't listen to the radio anymore. When I used to listen to the radio with my mom, I hated it. It was all the same crap, it was all crap, and over, and over, and over. And I just got tired of it. I, I said, fuck it. Um, it's not that I'm not saying I don't like the mainstream rappers, it's just the mainstream rappers are putting out shit. Um, <laughs> remember back when, you know, you could listen to mainstream, and it was good? Like, you know, Snoop Dogg. Let's talk about Snoop Dogg. No, let's, let's not talk about him. Um... Let's see. How about being a juggalo in general? Um, that's a very big topic. I'll talk about that in a later vlog. Probably I'll do a vlog tomorrow about it. But, um... Yeah, I'm just going to talk about that tomorrow. Um... Well, keep it wicked, y'all. Whoop, whoop. Much calm love. And let me know what y'all think. Peace.